Before you judge or tell someone how creepy or weird they are, please watch this video to the end to learn how uniquely different you are to others. If you hate the lifestyles of people around you or you just don't like to fit in into any group of any sort, then you are most likely to be a Sigma female and if you are not, you will likely not find it funny to be a Sigma female because it sets you apart whether you like it or not. Please take a moment and hit the like button to unveil the reasons why it is difficult to be a Sigma female aka the lone wolf. Being a Sigma female is difficult in general because they are one of the most rarest personality types which results to being misunderstood a lot. There are few types which are similar to them or who understand them, but being too analytical, Sigma females find problems in everything and when they do find it, it becomes their responsibility to personally try and resolve it. If for whatever reason they cannot solve it, the issue becomes a toxic hindrance to their existence as they will devote all their time, energy and resources to resolve that particular problem. Sigma females become obsessed with getting things done perfectly and most importantly in the right way. They don't have no sea limits in their abilities to get things done and so something which is usually pleasurable to do can be taken to the point where it becomes almost unbearably to do. Sigma females are not comfortable when people encroach on their space or simply do not want to get along with their agendas. Often they know precisely the way things work and simply want to be left alone to get on with it. Banter and small talk do not assist the Sigma female with productivity in any way and so is noisy or gossipy environment. In the workplace, the Sigma pushes the concept of project tolerance to the point where they either fail or succeed immeasurably. And this behavior is seen by others as complacent or highly risky. As an aside, Sigma female's disappointment is like no other, but the only difference is that they turn to overneed themselves for issues others would consider trivial. For instance, the Sigma female will not forgive herself for failing to see the solution to a problem as a team leader beforehand. The Sigma female's mind is restless and approaches things in a uniquely different way. To a Sigma female, everything is easy once it has been done once successfully. A Sigma female will often continue to tweak or totally put down an idea they have been working on, on the basis of trying to be unique, original or just because of too much information which can be very frustrating when they try to assimilate all the information into a single piece. This can apply to all areas of their life, not just in the workplace or on the project. You are probably living a life or using an item a Sigma female has improved upon or designed and someone else has taken credit for it. Because they hate being popular, most people around them, especially companies involving a lot of creativity and originality, turn to exploit this weakness to their benefit. There are very few types that understand the same worldview of the Sigma female in a committed way as they would love others to do. Because she is very committed in her dealings, the Sigma female turns to treat everything with the same amount of focus, vigor, interest, otherwise they simply wouldn't bother themselves in the first place. If they are talking to you or answering your questions, they want to see the same amount of importance and urgency in you as it is in them and what you have to say should equally be important and beneficial to them as well. The Sigma female's angle is always the most efficient and effective way to deal with problems in a direct way. But most people in a society are not used to dealing with problems in that way, either because of their upbringing, their social status, or they just worry too little or too much. The hardest part is watching a Sigma female do things over and over their own way and fail and just keep coming back to you for answers but still go off and do things their way again and again and again. The reason that separates the Sigma female's way of thinking from others' way of thinking is others do not accord enough time to themselves to reflect on their actions or themselves. On the other hand, their focus and attention are always directed towards the outside and to the other person. And when you spend most of your time on other people or other things, the time you leave for yourself will be much less and might reflect badly on you. 
Sigma females can sometimes be insensitive. They would rather see and state the facts clearly than beat around the bush and fluff criticisms to take off the hard edge. If they see and state the problem clearly, they can see and pursue the solution more efficiently. It is hard to stop pursuing accomplishments and just have fun. Sigma females love being productive. They can't stand having free time without working on something they deem useful, even if it's just practicing an instrument or reading a book they want to get through with. Spending time with important people gets boring if it does not allow some time to focus on something useful or meaningful. Sigma females do not suffer fools. Therefore, when they are forced to endure foolishness, it bothers them at a fundamental base level and this irritation isn't something they can easily control. It is similar to the irritation that Sigma males experience when they are dealing with people who deliberately choose to remain ignorant. It is hard being a Sigma female because 1. People often see you as the one to outsmart. Being a creative, productive and original thinker, others see you as the main competitor even when you are not in competition with them. You are not trying to outsmart anyone but yourself. You have high levels of mental energy which is great if there is something productive to channel that energy into. But where there is isn't, it can be destructive for you and others around you. High levels of mental energy can feed anxiety, depression, addiction and extreme views like adding salt to an injury. You cannot understand all of your feelings. You do have feelings and emotions, but most of the times you find it difficult to connect to people who are having a hard time in life. You don't just know how to show that you care and probably you get shouted at because you say things as you see them. Being partly unemotional, you don't see the necessity of sugarcoating things at that moment to spare the victim some pain. Your actions are unintentional and your apologies are often sincere. You are happy alone. But people don't understand that. They see it as a weird way of living and mistake that to mean low self-esteem, intimidation and shyness and they would bullishly tell you to be more active or meet more people but that doesn't make sense anyways because you know well that all what the chatter and the crowds can do for you is drain you. You pursue a lot of things. A lifetime wouldn't be enough to pursue all your interests and you end up focusing on one or two or jumping from one hobby to the next. You are often faced with a lot of difficulties to answer when people ask you what are your passions or what are you passionate about. It doesn't mean you are undecided, but rather it means your passion just encompasses a lot of fears and you know you will have a lot to learn and explore. You are beautiful. You know you are beautiful and you know what it takes to be beautifully outstanding. But sometimes you choose to overwhelm yourself in trying to justify why you are the way you are which sometimes make room for doubts to creep in, leading to self-deprecation and eminent depression. Now that you are aware of the differences and difficulties others go through daily in their life because of the way they were designed, please give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos. Please feel free to suggest other areas you want me to make videos on. See you in the next video. Salute.